So, or should I say, Huet. Beowulf is this super awesome warrior dude who we get to see smashing monsters and slaying dragons throughout his story. He bursts onto the scene as this super ripped Jason Momoa figure who is ready to single-handedly save an entire kingdom from destruction. He's the son of a guy named Etch the Owl, who seems to be dead now. In his day, my father was a famous man, a noble warrior lord named Edgethil. He outlasted many a long winter and went on his way. All over the world, men wise in council continue to remember him. But he lived a long time and was admired by people throughout the world. Which, let me tell you, is a difficult task to pull off. The longer you live, the more opportunities you have to offend people. But Etch the Owl didn't offend people. At least, not the wrong people. Beowulf comes from a people called the Geats. The leader of the Geats clan to which Beowulf belongs is named Higelac. Ejthiel was super close with Higelac and actually married his sister, Beowulf's mother, who doesn't get a name. So Beowulf is basically a Geatish prince, kinda, and, and a favorite of the king. After saving another kingdom from a monster and that monster's crazy helicopter mom, Beowulf will eventually become king himself. And then he'll slay a dragon. We don't know. We just don't know. Scholars have been debating forever where Beowulf came from. Some argue that it was passed down orally, which means that the story would have changed with each new person who told it. Others think it was written in early pagan times by a pagan, and later Christian transcribers added Christian elements to it. Some think that it was written by a later Christian who was just mimicking pagan styles. Other scholars are just like, meh. This guy we know about. Seamus Heaney is this really famous 20th century poet. He's won a bunch of honors up to and including the Nobel Prize. Scholars love and hate Heaney's translation. Some say that it's too modernized and it loses some of its antique appeal. Others think that it has revitalized what has become something of a tired chestnut in the literary world. Either way you look at it, Heaney's translation of Beowulf is pretty much the new standard. Because it's cool. At least Neil Gaiman thought so. He's the guy who wrote the TV series Lucifer and American Gods, and of course the 2007 Beowulf movie. By the way, if you listen to the audiobook of Heaney's translation, you're probably hearing Heaney's voice. 